there's literally millions and millions of things you could paint round here. It's uh, you, you really are sport for choice. It's more a case of what do you leave out. Well, this is the view I've gone for. I'm just about to see some of the mountains in the background. We've got the um, a whole load of fields coming right up into the foreground. Little cottage there, which I might put in by uh, taking the paint off. I'll, I'll show you later. And then we've got our sweeping road. So let's have a look at the materials. We've got the usual palette: ultramarine, lemon yellow, Payne's grey, lizarding crimson, raw sienna. Burnt umber light red, three brushes, large ache, three quarter inch flat, number three rigger. Got our water, tissues, 15 by 11 Fabriano. And up there, got our tea towel. So I'm going to start clean water using the large hake all over, stop it crinkling, keep the paper flat. Now I'm going to go into, I've just dipped the tips in again just to bring the ears back together. And I'm just going to go into a bit of raw sand just for a bit of background colour. And then clean the brush. Ultramarine. hit and miss that down the page. Try and just soak soak up any bits of water that are dripping down in case you've over wet it like I just have there. And then maybe just a touch of uh, ultramarine and Payne's grey, just a little bit of darker bits just for a bit of variation and again just sort of hit and miss that down the page. Now, same colours, I haven't cleaned the brush, same three colours and I'm going to put in the distant mountain, you can only just about see them in the photo, and that's sort of something like that. Distant hills, you can see, I'm just watching that. See where the water's just coming down, I've just over wet it slightly. I'll just put those mountains in again because they're a bit faint. You should have a bigger one there, I'll try and vary the height slightly. And they sort of come all the way over here. I ain't going to worry too much because there's going to be a tree there so. Now there's some slightly stronger ones, a little bit closer, so I want more paint, less water, more paint, stronger mix, and then these ones are a little bit more, a little bit more defined, you can see these slightly better now, so the paint's a bit stronger now, and these sort of fade away, something like Something like that. And then in front of those, there's like a, a tree line. So again, just sticking with the same colours. Still haven't cleaned the brush. And I'll just just flick up a few little trees. brush a quick clean and I'm going to go into raw sienna, a bit of lemon yellow, ultramarine and start off with these fields and sort of sweeping around and 
Piper stretch, see how it's sort of dipping now, so it's, it's come away, come away from the board a bit. So, I just pull that flat now, just pull it tight so it's flat, refix it. And we're ready to carry on. You can pre stretch it before you start painting, it's entirely up to you how you go about it. Um, Again, I'm trying not to go over what I've already painted, just so I can uh, keep the bed in the colours. So I'm going to bring that down to about some of that. In fact, no, I'll just keep going, I'll just keep going. A bit of raw sienna in there. Lemon yellow. I'm going to, just going to bring that right, right the way across. Right up to where our road's going to go. And then there's a few trees. So, still haven't cleaned the brush. I mean, it's Payne's grey, ultramarine. Payne's grey. And then just pop him where all these trees are dotted about. Yeah. Little things happening there and there, and where the fences and bushes divide the fields. Now, the ace is going to be around here somewhere, so I just want to make sure that's nice and dark, and then I'll just Burnt umber, ultramarine, and there's like a fence. Give you like that. A bit more. Like another fence coming this way. Leads up to the house. That comes away all the way across there. Actually, no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. Just get. Right, I'm gonna clean the brush now. I'm gonna give that a quick, uh, quick dry. put this house in so I'm going to switch to the uh, flat brush just give it a damp stick it in the water and I'm just going to take the excess off on the tea towel and then give me tissue on the other hand I'm just going to take out the shape of this house so it's something like put the roof up here to it on the bottom comes down and it's a bit on this side yeah. part down there mm, just sort of it around there so that's just the basic shape of a house and then onto that we can uh, I might just switch to the rigger, switch to the rigger and then just put in a little few little bits and pieces. 
we can have like a little little chimney on there and maybe a pop in some little windows and a little little door. Just gives a general impression of a little house, and then and just start out, we've just got some little fence posts that go off. Now, next, I'm going to stick in this road, so I've cleaned the brush, not too much water. I'm going to go. Light red, ultramarine, and then just give it a quick sweep round. Something like that. And then just fill in these gaps. Now on this right hand side we've got this big fence and um, hedge thing, so I'm just going to start that off, something like that, and then it works its way, it sort of stays, it's about that high, and it sort of comes right down to the, right down to the road. And there's another one on the left side. And just below that we've got a bit of grass. So stick a bit of green in there. Bit of green down there as well. Now on this left hand side as well we've got this uh, big tree. So I'm just giving Burnt umber, ultramarine, and we got a big trunk, and he's sort of giving right off up there, right up off the top of the picture. Stick a few more twigs in with the uh, rigger, a few more, just, just bash them in, don't fuss about with it so much. People I often get um, comments, people saying how long they take when they're painting. It's really a case of, it, it is at first, it, it is difficult to loosen up. And not worry about making a mess, but you need to make a mess a few times to learn what what you can and can't do. I'm just going burnt umber, ultramarine. I mean, there's not many leaves on this. Just suggesting a few of the finer tweaks and what.
Um, what else do we need? I think there's a I'm doing a couple of sheep in the field. I think so. Let's switch back to the uh, rigger. Switch back to the rigger. Clean, damp, clean and damp. Oh, mass. There's not too much water on it. And again, tissue in your left hand. And let's pick a nice dark part. So obviously it's got to be in the field somewhere. So I mean, I'm going to go stick one here. And just, just turn around, turn the brush around, circular motions, slightly elongated, and then take the paint out with your tissue. Get damp the brush again, pick another dark area, and again just swiggle it around. Here's another one. We'll just stick his head on in a bit. I'll just get the uh, do his bodies first, and I'm going to have another one. Final one over here. So that's the, the woolly bodies in. Then I'm going to switch dark colour. So I'm just going to go burnt umber, ultramarine. I always prefer to sort of mix a dark colour rather than just go straight to the pine grey. And then switch which ways, just put a tiny little. Just a tiny little triangle for his head. That's all it is. A tiny little triangle. And you got a sort of instant sheep. And then just so they're not on their own, stick a few. Stick a couple of birds up there as well. Maybe even a um, just stick a figure in. Just stick a little figure there, popping his head over the. Uh, just popping his head over the fence, and another one there, him looking, looking the other way, doing something. And just sticks all his old and someone up in the air. Just gives the impression of a bit of life. Could have someone else. Someone else over there just messing about. I think I'll call that one finished, so just over here at the one I'm gonna stick my signature. And that's another one done. So this is our finished painting. Let's have a quick look at the um, photograph. As you can see I've not changed the uh, composition really at all. You can see the, uh, the distant mountains go in the same colour as the sky. It just helps with recession, pushes it right back into the distance. And we've got all these fields in the middle ground. Just put in very, very simply. Just vary the, uh, just vary the colour, and then just put a few, uh, a few lines in to divide the fields up. Got our little house there, and I'm going to mess about with it going into detail. You saw how sim. Just take it off with a, with the uh, a damp brush. And just a few suggestions here and there of a few windows and chimneys. Got some of our little woolly friends there in the field. You saw how easy sheep are to do. Just again, take the paint off with a damp brush, and then just stick a little, a little triangle in for his head. And we've got our road here sweeping off round the corner. Just a quick sweep of the hike and the road straight in. I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. And I'll see you again soon.